Hello guys, greetings, welcome to Vinaya TV, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Today I thought to share with you um, this new development, what Ali Kudangote said. Ali Kudangote expressed that uh, three problems with Nigeria, right? Number one, security challenge. Number two, lack of credit facility. Number three, lack of power supply. So I thought to share this with you that what uh, Dangote allegedly recently, he said that uh, there's no customer credit facility in Nigeria. So it's important for the government to have a um, customer credit facility. It will help government fighting corruption. So he's saying that uh, the central bank and commercial bank should develop a customer credit product to encourage low income uh, earners to engage in loan taking. Obviously when you take a good a loan and if you're an entrepreneur you can put that into your business and for that business to grow then you repay the loan back. But that opportunity is not in Nigeria. I could remember even living here there was a time i phoned my bank in nigeria asked them you know do you guys provide loan uh, my customer representative said no they have stopped giving customers loan for a long period of time even if you have collateral like land or housing property that's what uh dangote is just saying here that uh, he also identified the lack of policy implementation as the biggest challenge in the country you know saying how do you, the economy grow without power you know uh, no power no growth because without power it can't grow you know obviously we're just saying that uh, he gave example egypt increased its electrical electricity to 10 gigawatts which is equivalent to 10,000 megawatts in 18 months in 18 months but you know guess what niger um have been struggling for the past 18 years without adding even 1,000 uh, megawatt but also we have actually spent three times more than Egypt what Egypt have actually spent so you know how can we kind of uh, be so dozer and so laid back without even asking about question how are we spending money every year on power supply allocating money to generate electricity every year through the national budget but you can't see that evidence you can't see anything to show or to prove that this money actually is been spending or has been spent about the power supply this present government previous government you know i don't understand why are they taking us for granted why up to now the common man will not have like 24 hours power supply it's, it's a massive concern is advising the government for us to you know there's a need to promote import substitution for foreign exchange accumulation through products from export he also called public pri private partnership to boost non-oil sector because nigeria is a mono economy we we'll always go through oil we need to diversify the economy we need to promote agriculture do we need to promote other things you know like uh, telecommunication so you know actually government need to encourage non-oil sector grow rather than depending on oil which is depending on oil to pay salary you know proceed from oil should be major investment in the country he said he ought the federal government to improve more on power supply say no business will thrive without be where business owners are actually generating power by themselves you know their profits will actually be fizzled away you know you can't generate power you can you can not use power that you generate with with generator to power uh, industry you know it, it will not work so uh, just saying that government needs we need to have a steady power supply this is actually one of the problem we got Dangote was saying that you know it suggests government to focus more on three areas which include finance manufacturing and agriculture so he's saying that uh, he gave example that asian tigers concentrated on this three sector and their life has actually changed you just say asia tigers 
concentrated on these three sectors for them to be where they are you know is if we check where asia tigers are at the present time you know that you know they are booming their economy are booming but our own country nothing is is nothing to write home about so i just thought to let you know that you know if other the government to they need to bring out the fiscal policy to move the country to the next level you know he's saying that uh, you know the country will be sufficient with with um with cement and uh, fertilizer uh in in this in, in this 18 months you know so but uh, what i'm try, trying to say in essence actually we, this present government need to move the country need to think about how to promote the life of the citizen how to touch life we can't be spending so much money on electricity and we are not getting the dividend of paying this amount of money somebody is fizzling this money somebody is embezzling this money we actually need to start making you know start raising your voice people cannot keep quiet all the time you know we can't just keep quiet there's no steady power supply you know there's no good loading there's no infrastructure facilities you know where all are the money that are being budgeted for all this every year the budget are being mapped out for this infrastructure facilities but you can't see it it's not being provided so i thought to let you know that what um Aliko Dangote said, obviously, whether the government will listen to what he's saying, God knows, you know. So I thought to let you know that, uh, you know, the problem with Nigeria is actually security, lack of power supply, lack of credit facilities. So these are three main problems with Nigeria. So, but if we're able to sort out this problem, I think the nation will move forward. But, you know, for the security architecture, the country needs to be restructured. The country is so big. You know, they need to have other tribes that belong to Nigeria, they need to have a sense of belonging. Nigeria is not only made of Fulani oligarchy or Fulani, you know, other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria are supposed to have a sense of belonging. They're supposed to contribute to Nigeria's system. They're supposed to be able to participate and be able to lead some of the security apparatus in Nigeria. Okay, the other point, you know, that will help us is have like credit facilities for people. To be able to you know assess loan in the country and move forward the other point is is having private partnership and gener generating electricity you know we have paid so much money for electricity in nigeria but we are not actually generating what we should have been generating you know egypt paid what we have paid for the past 18 years and they are getting more benefits and more dividend of it compared to us so you know there's something wrong you know with the nigerian system something wrong with nigerian system the country is so big and needs to be restructured if the nigeria are not doing that if they fail to do that the next thing you see is the rise of biafra thank you very much if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing thank you very much and god bless you